Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with a Beast Mastery Hunter guide for Legion Prepatch 7.0.3. In this guide, I'm going to be going over what talents you should be using, what spells and abilities, um, especially that are new in Legion or in this prepatch, uh, your stat priority, and then uh, go over the uh, demonstration and explanation of single target and AoE rotation. Um, and then at the end, I'll probably just go over some add ons uh, that I can use or recommend, as well as any macros I am using. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move to talents. So in the first tier of talents, we've got uh, three abilities. Way of the Cobra is going to be your default for single target. Uh, just makes your Cobra shot deal 8% more damage for every pet you have, and generally you have at least two pets at any given time, uh, meaning you get 16% extra damage on your Cobra shot in general at least um, most of the time. Uh, big Game Hunter is not a terrible choice for single target, but right now, uh, because things are dying so quickly, they drop out of the 80% health, 80% plus health, really quickly, making this just not that great. Um, so for now, not that great. Perhaps in more progression fights, it's not terrible, but we have the Cobra for single target. And then for AoE or clear situations, Dire Stable is really nice because it allows you to keep up your Beast Cleave buff, which we'll get to in the rotation. Um, because your Dire Beast is an ability you have, will generate more focus, allowing you to multi-shot more and keep up that buff. So Way of the Cobra, single target, uh, prolonged AoE, uh, Dire Stable. If it's like Burst AoE, you can still go Way of the Cobra. Um, for your level 30 talents, uh, we have three options here. We've got uh, Chimera Shot for single target. It's going to be your best choice. It's actually free now. They, we took it from Marksman. Sorry, Marks, when we got Chimera Shot. Uh, the cooldown line is reduced by haste, and it does the same thing. It does damage, but it actually generates focus for you, depending on how many targets are hit, one to two. And it does, um, it splits its damage if, you know, there are more than one targets close enough. So this is good for single target, um, and Stomp is what you would want to use for AoE, because when you use Dire Beast, it just makes them do AoE damage. So, a Stomp for AoE, Chimera Shot for single target, Dire Frenzy just not worth using at all. Uh, it's just really, really bad. It only improves your single target DPS, and it just doesn't do very much on top of that. Level 45, as with all the other Hunter specs, it's just a movement tier, so pick whichever you like. I recommend Post Haste in general. It's really, really useful. Um, gives you a speed boost when you disengage. Fast Rider can be fine if you never need to um, if you never need to move more than the distance of a disengage. But it's also like a, it's got an RNG factor to it, so. I prefer post haste and dash, just not worth using because three minute cooldown on aspect of the cheetah means it's really, really long. You don't have, you don't have it up very often. So, at level 60, I uh, generally just recommend bestial fury for all situations. It practically doubles the damage of your bestial wrath, um, gives an extra 15%, and it's already a 20%, so or 35%. So it's a, uh, it's it's a huge buff. It's not quite half, but or quite doubling it, but it's, it's a lot of extra damage. Uh, blink Strike's just not that useful, there's really no point where you need your pets to be blinking around um, to give up that bonus. And then one with the pack, Wild Call already has a really low cooldown, or uh, not cooldown, but chance to proc, so it's, the return on this just isn't quite as good. And you will be getting Bestial Fury up, or Bestial Wrath rather, quite often, making this really, really valuable. Uh, level 75 is just CC Talents, pick whatever you want, completely up to you. I like Binding Shot, but that's just me personally, uh, but anything you like. Uh, level 90, if you're going to do single target, Murder of Crows, uh, the best. It actually benefits from your mastery as a BM Hunter, so this makes it do uh, quite a bit of damage. Um, it's just like before in WAD, it's the exact same thing, so if it happens to kill something, you know, it resets, which is cool. Uh, do not put it on something that's about to die, like literally within the next second or two, because it's not worth it. But just keep it in mind if it's going to die within, you know, 6, 7 seconds, 10 seconds, whatever. Um, it will reset, which is cool. Uh, for AoE, uh, if they're clumped up enough, Volley is actually better than Barrage. If you, All you have to do is you turn it on, does AoE for you, your auto attacks, if they're clumped up enough. Now, if they're spread apart, then you consider using Barrage. Um, you know, so because you can catch a wider range of stuff. Uh, but generally, volley for AOE if they're grouped up, and then if you can't catch them at all, you can use barrage. Although if they're really, you know, if they're too far to AOE effectively anyway with beast cleave, you might as well just go single target. Um, so that is that tier, kind of an interesting tier. Um, and then level 100 stampede all the way. It's better than the other two. Does a lot of single target damage, and it's the only thing that even buffs your AOE at all. So. Just uh, stampede all the way there. And those are your talents. 
Now let's move on to your spells and abilities. Um, as a Beast Mastery Hunter, we've got some new ones and some old ones that are changed. Uh, we have Kill Command, of course, your general uh, make your pet do lots of damage. That's really good. 30 focus does damage, it's got a 25 yard range. Uh, we have, uh, if you talented it, Chimera Shot for single target. Um, it's free now, so it doesn't cost any focus, it actually builds focus for you. So it's a little different. Uh, then we've got this ability called Dire Beast. Um, I think we took it off the talent tree from before. Uh, it just summons a beast and it actually generates a uh, 12 focus for you. And it also has uh, an added benefit, which I'll discuss in a second. Now, Cobra Shot, this is kind of weird. Cobra Shot is now your focus dump. It's actually what you use to get rid of your focus rather than build it. A little weird, so uh, don't don't be spamming it, trying thinking that you're building focus, but it's there. Um, and then we have multi shot, which of course activates your beast cleave, a passive that makes your pets um, cleave when they attack. So uh, really important for AOE there. And then we've got our talent, of course. Right now I have murder of crows. You could have barrage or volley. Um, if you're going to use volley, remember you just turn it on and you just leave it there. Uh, it just stays on. So you just fire and forget. Um, and then of course you've got your other CC talent. You've got Concussive Shot for movement slowing. Uh, disengage from movement. Leaps you backwards and with post haste you get that little speed boost. And then you've got Exhilaration. So you finally have your own baseline heal. Two minute cooldown heals you for 30% of your health and heals your pet to full. Uh, and then you've got Aspect of the Turtle. It's again your deterrent. It's a replacement for deterrence. It's the same thing. You can attack deflect all damage. It only has one charge though and it's three minute cooldown so it's pretty long cooldown just keep that in mind. You've got misdirect, flare and now a aspect of the cheetah it's a uh, movement speed buff but it's a three minute cooldown makes you move really really quickly for three seconds and then a little quickly for like nine seconds. Um, and then as far as cooldowns of course again we have stampede from the talents but we have bestial wrath which is now a one and a half minute cooldown. Um, does the same thing pretty much. Now it's really important to note that Dire Beast will reduce this cooldown. Now, right now, I think the tooltip is bugged. It says 30 seconds. It's actually 15 seconds right now. So it reduces the cooldown of Beast Your Earth by 15 seconds every time you use Dire Beast. So you'll have this up more often um, than before. And then you have a 2-minute cooldown called Aspect of the Wild. Uh, grants you a bunch of focus and 10% increased crit strike chance on everything. Um, pretty good. Pretty useful, it's uh, nice to not focus stuff yourself. So those are your abilities and cooldowns uh, right now. Um, and one thing to mention as I'm going through these, um, well actually first there's a passive, uh, just note that your auto crit strikes, you have a chance to reset the cooldown on Dire Beast. So crit has a small interaction uh, with this class. Now one thing to note, you do have pet um, talent trees, sort of as before. Uh, just do ferocity right now for raid, it does the most damage. Spec and Ferocity if they're not already, and that's all you have to do with that. Now let's briefly go over the um, stat priority for BM Hunters. So right now Haste is your most important stat. Uh, it increases your attack speed of course, and also increases your focus regen, which is really important. Of course you don't want to be focus starved ever. It also reduces the cooldown of a lot of your abilities, like Kill Command, Chimera Shot, Dire Beast. Those are really important um, skills, especially you know since Dire Beast will reduce the cooldown of your big you know, Bestial Wrath cooldown. Um, and then it just gets you more focus, which allows you to squeeze in more, you know, Cobra shots and and such um, during, you know, periods of burst and all that such and all that kind of thing. Uh, the next stat right now is versatility. Um, can't really explain. I mean, versatility is a very boring stat. Increases the damage you do. Um, so apparently that's the uh, next thing right now. Uh, probably just a scaling issue. And then we have Mastery, which increases the damage by your pets. And of course, this does count toward uh, Crows as well, which is uh, so it's pretty good. And then Crit Strike, not the best. Um, I have a lot because I'm geared for Marksman from Wad from before. Um, but Crit is your worst stat. So Haste, Versatility, then Mastery, and then Crit right now. All right. Now, as far as um, your rotation goes, it's pretty simple. You basically want to kill command on cooldown. You want to Chimera Shot on cooldown, and you want to Dire Beast on cooldown. You also want to Crows on cooldown. Um, and then you just dump focus. When you're above 90 focus, you know you want a Cobra Shot. So basically you don't want to cap focus. You want to always be regenerating focus. Um, that's the 
most basic way to put it. You're just popping stuff on cooldown. Uh, Kill Command is really important, so that's first, then Chimera, then um, Dire Beast. Now, one thing to note, though, when you're using your cooldowns, try to use them pretty much on, on cooldown. Um, but one thing with Bestial Wrath to be careful about, uh, make sure, I mean, if Dire Beast is up, say Dire Beast is available, or, you know, and, and uh, Bestial Wrath is almost there, you might want to hold off if it's just a couple seconds, like one to two seconds at most. You might want to hold off, pop Beast of Wrath, then pop Dire Beast, so you can get that cooldown reduction immediately rather than waiting. Um, but more importantly as well, when you use Beast of Wrath, make sure Kill Command is up within a second or two. Even if, if you have to delay it a little bit, uh, just make sure you are getting squeezing as many uh, Kill Commands into Beast of Wrath as possible, because it'll get you the most damage. So you have 15 seconds of Beast of Wrath duration. So um, try to make it, you know, squeeze as many kill commands as you can. Typically get like two in. So you want to make sure um, you do get as many as possible in. And so that's the biggest interaction thing you'll have to pay attention to is uh, managing your Beast of Wrath and lining it up with Dire Beast afterward, if possible, um, or making sure your kill command is up. Um, right when you're going to use it. Other than that, try to line up your cooldowns with other cooldowns, Legendary Ring, for example, um, or like a Bloodlust Heroism type thing. And that's pretty much it. So uh, that's single target. Uh, for the starter, I'll give you guys a little demonstration real quick. Um, but for the starting thing, uh, you want to pop Stampede first because it's not on the global. It won't like proc a global. Then Crows. Then Beastial Wrath with like all the cooldowns and of course Aspect of the Wild, uh, and then Dire Beast to get rid of or to try to cut the cooldown down and then follow the rotation. You know, Kill Command, Chimera Shot, Dump Focus, and Cover Shot, and then Rinse and Repeat. And then from there on again, you know, use Beastial Wrath as much as possible given the constraints of uh, making sure Kill Command is up very very soon if not already once it's popped, and you know if you can squeeze a Dire Beast in uh, earlier to reduce the cooldown. So without further ado, I'll uh, give you guys a quick demonstration here. So we start, so we'll Stampede, and then Crows, and then Wrath, and then uh, Dire Beast. I actually popped the wrong button there, and then Kill Command, and then Chimera, and then we got another Dire Beast, so we'll use that, and then we'll Dump Focus with Cobra Shot here. Now we always want to make sure we have enough for Kill Command right away, and if uh, Dire Beast procs, use it. Alright, and then Chimera's up, so we'll use that, so we'll Dump a little Focus, use Kill Command. Now you notice we're getting pretty close, I actually forgot to pop uh, Aspect of the Wild. They should have done at the start, but with Dire Beast here. And then we'll just uh, pop things and just dump focus when we need to. So always have enough focus to use uh, kill command when you need to. And so here we have, um, I'm actually going to wait, I'll use Chimera. Now I'll pop this uh, Beast of Wrath, then Dire Beast, and then uh, kill command. Since it wasn't quite up yet. And I waited for it. So here I'll wait, because uh, I'll Chimera, uh, kill command, and just never focus starve yourself with Cobra Shot. Just use it to dump excess focus to make sure you're not wasting... Um, a cooldown of potential use. And then use everything else on cooldown. So I'm saving up some focus here. I'm going to Dire Beast here. I will Kill Command, and now i got Crows, so I'll use Crows. And then Chimera Shot, and then I'll dump a little focus. Now Dire Beast procced again, so I'll have uh, I'll go ahead and Beast of Wrath here right away, because I have Kill Command. It's perfect timing. Now even if there's not a Dire Beast, that's okay. That's just kind of like icing on the cake. And then Kill Command again. we got Dire Beast up. We'll use that. Uh, Cobra a little bit here. I will Chimera, and then i got uh, Dire Beast up. Kill Command. Dump focus with Cobra Shot, and then just keep an eye on cooldowns as you go. So now things came up, uh, Chimera came up, Kill Command, I have a little extra focus, I'll dump it. If the uh, Cobra Shot, then Dire Beast, and then Cobra. And here I should have Kill Command at first, but that's okay, you just use those on cooldown as possible. And that's pretty much your single target rotation. So I'll go ahead and pull my pet off here. Um, the key, of course, being lining up your cooldowns with other cooldowns and Beastial Wrathing. The most important part about it, use it and make sure Kill Command is ready or practically ready, like within a second. Uh, if you have Dire Beast ready, like it just happens to line up, you know, that's perfect. You know, use Beastial Wrath, use Dire Beast, you get a free uh, 15 second cooldown reduction, which is awesome. So now we'll use, um, I'll go ahead and show you guys with Barrage right now rather than Volley because it's more active. But again, Volley is better if they're clumped up enough for AoE. Uh, then we can go Stomp here, and Dire Stable, for AoE rotations. So the AoE rotation is pretty much the same, um, except instead of using um, Dumping Focus with Cobra Shot, the most important thing you have to do is keep up your Beast Cleave buff, which is uh, 
put out by Multishot. Now you can use a tracker for this. Um, Multishot is uh, it, it lasts for four seconds. The buffer gives you beast cleave, so make sure you're multi-shotting at least once every four seconds. And then after that, it's the same thing. You know, you want to pop your cooldowns. Kill command is next, and you know, dire dire beast. And then you know, um, I'm sorry, before dire beast, like you can barrage. So to spend your focus. It's the, again, building and spending focus. So to spend focus, you know, definitely keep your beast cleave up um, and then kill command and then barrage would be your next like focus spender. And then uh, you can build focus with uh, Dire Beast. You won't be Cobra shotting too often in this scenario, but if there is a time where there's extra time, you know, you have a second or so before beast cleave is off and you have a bunch of focus, feel free to use it, but never at the expense of losing your beast cleave buff. So same thing at the start of the fight. Go ahead and uh, stampede, and then I'll pop cooldowns, dire beast, just to get that out, and then I'll beast cleave, so I'll uh, drop that. Another one of these to lower the cooldown, and I'll just barrage. And now I'll uh, keep beast cleave up, kill command. I can uh, cobra shot here, and then I'll keep beast cleave up again with the multi shot. So uh, then dire stable, use this, I'll keep a uh, multi shot again, stable, or I'm uh, sorry, dire beast, and then, you know, kill command, again, drop another. Uh, a multi shot to keep Beast Cleave up. Maybe a barrage in there, keep Beast Cleave up, use your cooldown again, Beast of Wrath, get another cooldown reduction with Dire Beast, Kill Command, Cobra there, and then, you know, if you, if you can squeeze one in and then keep your buff up. Now I know I'm getting pretty low on focus, so I'm going to multi shot again. Stable here, multi shot. And we got Kill Command, so I'll come use that. Now I know Barrage takes a while to channel, so I'll multi shot first and then I'll try to squeeze in a barrage if possible. And then, you know, kill command, dire beast, and so on. And so you just keep going like this. Keeping your beast cleave up all the time, really, really important for AoE. It's kind of what makes your AoE really good. And then, you know, use your other abilities as you can on cooldown. So kill command when you can. Make sure you have, you know, beast cleave before you barrage, if you're using barrage. Now, if you're using volley, again, you just turn it on, let it go. Uh, and you don't have to worry about it, which is why it's also easier. It's another button and less focus management. Um, you know, Beast of Wrath on cooldown, make sure you have your uh, Beast Cleave up, and then just use things on cooldown. Kill Command, Dire Beast. You can dump if you need to with Cobra, but uh, generally you can just multi shot and you'll do fine just multi shotting, especially if there's a lot more uh, targets. So that's your AoE rotation. Uh, not too, too complicated. Beast Mastery is fortunately quite simple right now. Um, as far as add-ons and macros, right now I haven't really set up a uh, weak aura for BM. Uh, what I would use something like that, like a tell me when power auras, weak auras type thing for, is to track your beast cleave buff on um, on your pets when you're doing AOE, and that's pretty much it. Um, there's not much else I personally consider um, tracking. Of course, you can always track trinket procs or anything um, if you like that. I do have Omni CC to show the numbers, like the seconds remaining on skills. It's always nice for me, a personal visualization. And I'm not using any macros right now. Um, just don't have the need. Um, it's not. It's not too. Uh, BM doesn't really lend itself too well to like macroing skills together. So pretty, uh, pretty light UI right now for that. Um, just consider the uh, tell me when type things or weak auras, and if you need a tracker for your beast cleave, and then uh, Omni CC just to track the timers and cooldown remaining. Uh, if you guys like this video, uh, feel free to hit it with a like, you know, leave comments, ask questions, uh, and if you want to see more videos like this, which I'm trying to put out, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Cheers!